Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to uh, the revision for CUE beta. Beta, because now only one month is left. What I have decided is, I will give you every day hundred important questions based on a particular topic. Just as today, I am going to do hundred important questions on regression. Then tomorrow, I will pick up hundred important questions on let's say the uh, mean median mode 100 important questions on matrix 100 important questions on monopolistic competition jo bhi topics indian economy five year plans whatever topics come in are going to come in the cuet exam beta i am going to go ahead and give you 100 important questions on that topic i will is a ruling really 100 100 se bhi zyada ho sakte hain my aim is to cover as many permutation and combination of questions possible so that when you look at the question in exam you don't think that i have not seen such kind of question question dekhte hi you should know the answer to the question because beta this time all important universities like delhi school of economics like jnu like bhu like other universities like dtu all of them beta are going to be part of your cuet exam so we don't want to miss the opportunity of getting into such good universities theek hai ji to uske liye we just studying the topic just understanding the topic is not enough beta har exam ka ek apna pattern hota hai you have to understand what is the pattern in this exam, CUET ka kya pattern hai? Kis tarike ke questions aate hai? Har sab kuch padna nahi hai. Smart study karna hai. We have one month left, beta. So, for those of you who are with me, who have enrolled with us, you know that now this one month is going to be for revision, beta. Every day we will do important question which will be topic oriented. Thik hai ji? Aaj, jo hum topic lenge, the topic that I'm going to take today, beta, that is going to be regression. Regression actually means regression and correlation. So I can just rewrite this beta as regression and correlation. Not the other correlation. Is my rank correlation and all ki questions nahi hai, beta. Mostly regression related jo correlation hota hai, uske hi questions are there. So, beta, as you can see, I have spent my entire day today to only help you students prepare all these questions. Can you see? This is the amount of effort that I have put in. I have just prepared all these questions thoroughly by, by going ahead and giving a description of each and every question, beta. So, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, revising this with you. Let us go to the first question. If the line of regression are parallel to the coordinate axis, then the coefficient of correlation is. Beta, jabhi bhi line parallel to the x-axis hoti hai. Whenever the line is parallel, regression line is parallel to the x-axis, we always say that r square is going to be 1. We always say that r square is going to be 1. Right, beta? And r can be plus 1. So, when the line is parallel to the coordinate axis, parallel to the x-axis, beta, we say that R is 1. Chike ji, come to the next question. If two lines of regression are perpendicular, the correlation coefficient is, beta, when lines are perpendicular to each other, there is no relationship between them. So, if these lines form a 90 degree angle between them there is no relation between them is this clear beta so when regression lines are i'm repeating this ek bari mein dimag mein dal lo dobara exam tak rahega dimag mein you should be there it should sink in your mind so when regression lines are perpendicular to each other then the correlation coefficient is zero is this clear beta there is no relationship between the two variables x and y. So, beta, the answer to this question is zero. The correlation coefficient is zero. Is this clear? Okay, beta, come to the next question. In regression analysis, if the quantitative variable has m categories, 
वन कैन इंट्रोड्यूस ओनली बेटा दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डमी वेरिएबल ट्रैक सो इफ देर आर लेट से एम कैटेगरीज जैसे एम हो गया सपोज सपोज एग्जाम्पल के लिए एम हो गया थ्री थ्री माने क्या हो गया बेटा जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव द डमी सच दैट माई वेरिएबल बेटा वेरिएबल दिस इज माई लोकेशन एंड लोकेशन में तीन दिए हुए हैं ईस्ट वेस्ट नॉर्थ बेटा तीन ही डायरेक्शन दी हुई है ईस्ट वेस्ट नॉर्थ सो इफ यू हैव थ्री वैल्यूज दैट यूर क्वालिटेटिव वेरिएबल कैन टेक राइट दिस शुड बी क्वालिटेटिव बेटा दैट यूर क्वालिटेटिव वेरिएबल कैन टेक देन इन दैट केस बेटा यू विल इंट्रोड्यूस टू डमीज तो कैसे इंट्रोड्यूस होंगी समथिंग लाइक दिस डी टू आई विल बी वन इफ ईस्ट जीरो इफ नॉर्थ ओके बेटा सिमिलरली डी थ्री आई विल बी वन इफ वेस्ट जीरो इफ नॉर्थ टू डमीज आर सफिशियंट फॉर थ्री वेरिएबल्स इन ऑर्डर टू अवॉइड डमी वेरिएबल ट्रैप समझ में आ गया जी सो इफ देर आर एम कैटेगरीज बेटा यू विल इंट्रोड्यूस एम माइनस वन डमी वेरिएबल्स आई होप दिस इज क्लियर ओके बेटा कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन If the two regression lines are under y is equal to a plus b x, x is equal to c plus d y, the correlation coefficient between x and y is, बेटा very simple, the correlation coefficient is r square under root. R can also be called as the simple r square का under root करो या r करो. So the correlation coefficient बेटा is r. and this r is written as the under root of the two slope coefficients <coughs> under root of the two slope coefficients beta kya hai do two uh, slope coefficients b y x and b x y beta b y x hai when y is regressed on x b y x kya hai when y is regressed on x matlab this y is regressed on x to jo slope aata hai usko b bolte hai beta so b y x is when y is regressed on x beta b x y is when x is regressed on y so idhar dekho x is regressed on y what is what are you getting beta d theek hai ji in do slope coefficients ke under root ko r bolte hain so this is the under root of bd is this clear everyone is clear with it so the under root of bd is the value of r so beta <coughs> the answer is d under root bd is this clear okay beta come to the next question find msc meet squared error from the following data okay beta you are given regression error and total you are given the degrees of freedom beta fill in the blank bhi kar lete hain error plus regression ke degrees of freedom mila kar total degrees of freedom hoti hain sum of squared of regression plus sum of squared of error mila ke total sum of square hota to beta ye 500 ho gaya mean sum of regression ho jata hai sum of square divided by degrees of freedom So टू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव बेटा हो जाएगा फोर हंड्रेड फाइव हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव बेटा हो जाएगा ट्वेंटी इज दिस क्लियर और इन दोनों के रेशियो से एफ वैल्यू आती है तो फोर हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेंटी तो एफ वैल्यू बेटा हो जाएगी ट्वेंटी एम आई मेकिंग सेंस नाउ बेटा तो क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग वॉट इज मीन स्क्वेड एरर so the question actually is asking this value from you it's asking this value from you so answer is 20 isn't it sum of square of error upon the degrees of freedom so beta sum of square of error is nothing but total total minus regression minus explained that gives you 500 
and ms e beta will be sum of square root of error divided by degrees of freedom so 500 divided by 25 beta that is 20 so the answer to this question is going to be 20 is this clear i hope this is making sense right so this is your fifth question beta which talks about finding msc okay so now beta we will go to the sixth question the standard deviation of y is double the standard deviation of x if correlation coefficient between x and y is 0 0.5 find acute beta this is acute find acute angle between lines of regression so from question 6 onwards beta till question 100 i am going to post it on the portal you can go ahead and look at your portal and you can solve those questions along with me i've written the complete explanation also so you can visit the portal and you can try and solve it on the portal for the students who have enrolled with us for this 